Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're gonna work on the Doggy Comfort Blanket. Now this is a really cute blanket. Um, I was just recently at the, the vet and there was a really sick cat and it was cuddled up into a blanket. I know my cat was really sick and that's why I had taken my cat in. And you know when you have a pet that you care about you know you wanna take great comfort. There's also some uh, veterinarian services or animal shelters that will take uh, donations of blankets in order to keep those pets nice and warm and feeling comfortable with inside their um, their kennels with you know as they're going through the healing process and etc. If you love this blanket so much we also have it available in adult size or human size and uh, it's the same stitch work and this is called the simple texture blanket also available on yarnspirations.com. We also have a tutorial on that as well. But today we're gonna be featuring the dog size. So we have a cat size, a dog size and a human size but today we're gonna feature the dog. So without further ado let's listen to this real quick. This video has sound alerts added. When you hear this sound, it will be your signal that the segment is finishing up. Press stop and crochet the instructions and then press play again to continue along in your project. So here's a quick look at the pattern. It's all just one page. It's that simple. There's a different size of the blankets. Uh, the cat is approximately 30 inches square and the dog is 40 inches square and of course the human size is even bigger than that. So it's just a matter of just changing the stitch counts right in the very beginning. For cats it's chaining of 90. For uh, dogs it's chaining of 102 just to make up for the different sizes. But if you'd like to change the size even to make a baby blanket you can just keep it in multiples of two and this will work out. So you, maybe you have a matching one for your pet for your baby, for yourself and etc. These make for really kind of a cool idea. So within today's pattern I'm going to be explaining how to do the stitch work and let me show you the sample that I have here off camera. The nice thing about this sample is that it makes it really quite dense. So you're gonna use a uh, Karen one pound yarn in order to work today and you're going to use a five millimeter crochet hook. Now that is normally not that small of a hook for Karen one pound but you got your little love baby here. So you don't wanna make sure that there's excessive gaps within that so they don't get their paws stuck in anything. So you can see it's a nice dense pattern just like so. So without further ado let's uh, move on and let's start our chains and let's begin to do this project. So let's begin with the slip knot and we're gonna insert our five millimeter size H crochet hook today. So if you're doing the cat size make sure you chain 90. If you're doing dog size chain 102, sorry chain 120 and then for any other size if you wanna uh, just change the size keep it in multiples of two which I'm going to do for tutorial reasons today. So just go one, two, one, two or just chain the number that is suggested for the cat or dog size. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And once you're satisfied with that just end your chain. Just keep it as is and then let's move on to begin to do the stitch pattern. So to begin this pattern it's actually really quite simple. So we're gonna go second chain from the hook. So one and two and we are going to just go into the back loop only and you're gonna single crochet. So the next stitch in order to get rid of those nasty track lines of crochet it goes to a double crochet. Okay so this creates that whole illusion of it's a solid panel instead of just being tracks of, of crochet work. So then you're gonna come to the next one and it will be single crochet. And then the next one will be double. And the next one will be single. And you're gonna carry on all the way down your chain doing that same thing. So just every other one is a different stitch. So it's either double or it's single and you're gonna go all the way to the end. Maybe at the end of your chain in just a moment. When you get to the end of your chain your very last chain will be the exact same stitch that you started with on the other side. So we started with single crochet so it will end in single crochet. That makes it very simple to be able to follow. So we're gonna turn our work and go for row number two. So let's go for row number two. So it's gonna be repeating rows number two and three for the remaining of your project for the size that you would like to go. So it's 30 inches uh, for the length and the width for the cat and 40 inches for the dog. And so to begin this one we just have to start and we notice that the last one that we just finished was a single crochet. So we wanna create the opposite look so we're gonna start up with chaining three which counts as a double crochet and then the next one, see it's a double crochet down here but the next one this time is gonna be a single crochet. And then the next one is gonna be a double crochet. So you just gotta remember just to do the opposite. So never do two of the same stitches in a row like two singles or two doubles. So the next one is a single. Next one is a double. This is the next one is a single. 
and once you get used to this pattern your brain will automatically do it without really having to think much about it. So you go all the way to the end and the last one is a single crochet from the row below and this time it has to be a double. So we started with chaining a three which was a double on the side so the last one on this one has to be a double. So let's turn and work and do row number three. So row number three last time it was a double crochet down here so this time it's gonna be a single above so chain up one only and one single into the same one and then the next one is gonna be a double. And the row below that was just a single down here. So this is what creates that illusion of the look of filling everything in. So it's just single double, single double, single double all the way to the end. So if any point you're starting to mess up at any point you'll notice that right away and you wanna make sure that you're really kinda of paying attention in the beginning just so your brain click and clicks in and but other than that it's really quite simple. The last one out here, this was a double crochet last time so this time it must be a, a single crochet and we started with single anyway. So turning our work, last time it was single down here so this time it's gotta be a chain three for a double and so we move to the next one and make it single and then double. So you can see it's actually a, a really great pattern. It fills in those spaces and because um, you're using your Karen one pound yarn you'll notice that it's gonna be a very nice dense um, blanket like so and that's perfect for your pets as well in order for them not to get uh, tangled up into any project. So we started off with the double crochet this time. That means that this final one has to be a double and if you're keeping count in the pattern anyway it'll work out. So there is no border on this particular project so that's all you have to do. Go to the size that you would like to do and until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great day. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.